If you haven't found your purpose yet in life, well, first of all, join the club. There's a lot of us in this club. More importantly though, there are ways we can reframe this question of what is my purpose in life that will make it much easier to approach. If you're anything like me, I find it very difficult to focus on that particular lens. So I just change the lens. Instead of asking, what is my purpose in life? I ask, what does the world need from me? And when I say the world, I'm not necessarily talking about whoever happens to be texting me at the moment or whatever notification I'm getting on my email, all of the immediate concerns that come up in our personal lives, in our work. And there is a balance between attending to the immediate needs, which may be where we're at right now, and then finding the space to give it a little breathing room and ask yourself, what is the world? What does the whole shebang actually want from me? So it is a more self-focused question and it allows you to see a little bit further out. It may not be in your immediate vicinity. It may not be in the city that you live in. It may be somewhere else, or it may be on a different channel in some other venue that you're not particularly used to because the way that our realities are shaped right now, if you're online, which most people are, is that you have a hyper specific and hyper curated version of reality based on what the algorithms and advertisements think you are and think that you want and think that you need so that they can make money off of you. So if you choose to base what your meaning and purpose is off of whatever comes onto your feed every given day, that's okay. And also, if we choose not to think about it, our time will just get filled up with whatever the most immediate concern is. Usually that's other people's needs, other people's wants, other people's desires, whatever your coworkers need, your boss needs, your family, your friends, your spouse, your children, that's gonna be what you end up doing with the rest of your life. Um, which again, is not a problem, but it might not necessarily be the right thing for you. There is a balance to be found between fulfilling other people's needs and being that person who's always there to support and then finding whatever your purpose may be. Some people will approach that, what's my purpose, and take it in a very selfish direction where we don't think about the needs of anyone else or anything else and we just narrow it down to our own particular little slice of personality and what do we want? And we really hone in on that one thing. And that can be useful. Um, that approach doesn't work for me for some reason. So I ask, what does the world need from me? When I ask that question, I feel uh, like a spaciousness in my heart. It's, it's kind of down here somewhere. Like there's all kinds of opportunity. There's so much that's available. Where that feels the most calm for me and the, the biggest feeling of like, ah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, or this is where it feels really good. It's like a very deep and fulfilling and satisfying feeling of like, ah, yes. And, but for me, it's not so much a really um, like pointed, excited feeling, but it's a much like broader, deeper feeling of like settling into something that you feel it in your belly. It's like, ah, that's where I'm supposed to be.